Software supply chain is one of the biggest challenges that we face as an industry. Reason being is that we need to know what components go into our software. We need to know how those components are put together. We need to know what appropriate usage. We really need to be able to know how much we trust that piece of software. And that's where Spectre Assure comes in. I'm Tim Brown, I'm the CISO for Soloin. I've been in cybersecurity for about 30 years. I've built products, I ran engineering teams, I was CTO for a number of large organizations for security units of places like Dell Software and CA Technology. So always focused on security. I've either built it or I've run it or I've deployed it and then joined Soloins about eight years ago to be the CISO. SolarWinds has been around for 25 years. We are an IT observability company. We provide product for IT people, for DevOps people, for help desk people. We are a software company. That's what we do. At SolarWinds, my mission is really to protect the company. When we look at that role, right, as a head of security, right, it has a lot of different components to it. So I've got a team that runs security operations, so all the monitoring that we do around the company, monitoring for everything that is running, whether it be cloud services or on-premise services. I have a compliance team that really manages our, our SOC 2s and our ISOs and compliance with all sorts of different regulations. And then I have indirect teams that help with the way that we build products. And those indirect teams are product architects and our security architects within the solutions and within the engineering team. At Solowinds, one of the things after our incident, we really wanted to be exemplary. So we've done things such as attest to the secure software development framework. We've attested to the enduring security framework. Reversing labs plays a very important role in that next generation process that we're looking to do. Now, we use static code analysis, we use other inspection tools that look at source code along the way, but as a final check, reversing labs always plays that important final check to say, is anything else in here that is suspect? We run reversing lab on our releases to be able to look at a couple of different things. First one is that the software was built as we expected it, that the software didn't have unexpected things go into the software. But we can use the comparison features of one build to the next build you know, at the executable. So not looking at the source code, but from the executable side that allows us to make sure nothing nefarious got into a release. Spectre Assure is focused on identifying malware, suspicious behavior, and tampering. One of the other important areas that Reversing Labs helps us is generating the SBOM. The concept of a software bill of materials has been being pushed by CISA and its leadership for the last few years. We've just reached a critical milestone. That critical milestone is that you know, customers have been starting to ask for SBOMs from vendors. In our case, Federal customers and a few commercial customers have asked for SBOMs for our products before purchase. Reversing Labs is what we use to generate that SBOM. Our customers are requesting them. Our customers need them. The ability to produce SBOMs helps us close our deals. We, like the rest of the industry, are really looking to improve our third-party risk management software and our third-party risk management process. Reversing Labs can play an important role in that. So when we look at how we evaluate, do we have enough to evaluate? In industry today, very common practice for people to look for SOC 2s, for people to look for ISOs, for people to look for filling out questionnaires or look for standard information gathering spreadsheets. And that's a lot of the way evaluation is done today. But that evaluation doesn't really give you enough to be able to truly assess the risk of the product that you're buying. So when we look at procurement of software, the ideal case is that you're running reversing labs on everything prior to purchase. I not only get the SBOM, I also get insights into malicious code or tampering. Reversing labs can really play a dual role. As a software provider, I need to provide information, knowledge, SBOMs, all of those things to my consumers. 
And with that, Reversing Labs can produce those things for me. It can give me checks. It can give me a great deal of information about my build process. It can look for malware. Now, on the other side, as a consumer of software, I can run Reversing Labs on things that I buy and software that I buy. And I can get that same level of assurance that I'm providing as a vendor, I can get as a consumer. The threat landscape is always evolving. We face new threats every day. What we did 10 years ago simply isn't enough. One of those evolutions that we see is in software supply chain. When we look there, we always look for new tools. We look for new things that can help us. We look to be as transparent as possible. We're entering a new realm where the expectation of vendors is transparency. Reversing Labs plays a very important role in that next generation process that we're looking to do.